Hey everybody, it's uh, May 6th, 2020. I'm going to read to you from 1 Corinthians, the 10th chapter, beginning at the uh, 23rd verse. I'm going to read verses 23 and 24. All things are lawful, but not all things are beneficial. All things are lawful, but not all things build up. Do not seek your own advantage, but that of the other. Paul is writing to uh, the church at Corinth, who is struggling to figure out how they are to be the Christian community and in the world and, and in their day. I think the Christian community is again struggling about how it is that we are to be the people of God in these days. How it is that we are to be church when we can't be church together in the ways that we have known it and appreciated it and have got comfort from it. Church is so different to us now. We have to meet virtually and digitally and in, in different ways. So are we still church? Yeah, we are church. We are God's people. Even when we can't gather together in ways that we have grown familiar and accustomed to, Christ is with us. Christ is with us as his sisters and brothers. And so we continue to be dispersed, different, um, even uncomfortable for us in some ways, uh, the way we are church now. But we are still God's people who are called to do the things that build up and to do the things that are beneficial to all, not just to us, but to all. And we don't seek our own advantage, but we seek the advantage of the other, of our neighbors. It is said elsewhere in scripture that the greatest commandment is for us to love God and to love our neighbors. That is to seek their advantage, to do what's best for the other, to build them up, to encourage them. We can still do those things, even though we are not here together. We can still be the church in the world. And even though it's going to be different, and even though it's not the same way, um, we are still God's people, and Christ is still with us. His love is surrounding us. His love is before us. His love is within us. His love is all around us, and we are still his sisters and brothers. I'm going to pray a prayer that's from um, the president of the Methodist Conference. Not sure which conference, but her name is Barbara Glasson. I got it in a uh, resource I found this morning. Let us pray. We are not people of fear. We are people of courage. We are not people who protect our own safety. We are people who protect our neighbor's safety. We are not people of greed. We are people of generosity. We are your people, God, giving and loving wherever we are, whatever it costs, for as long as it takes, wherever you call us. Amen. God bless. See you tomorrow.